there! I miss Biz. Glad you could join me today. I'm about to play Journal. It's an interactive storybook by Lockdoor Puzzle, and you get to actually make a couple decisions in it. There's a secret ending you can unlock, and who doesn't love a good story? I know that's why I play video games. As you can tell, it's not a 3D game. Uh, it's different art style than that. Uh, you're actually in a journal, and you'll see I right away. I kept a journal for as long as I can remember. I used it to chronicle my every thought and dream. Until the day I opened it to find it completely blank. Here's the journal. All right, and this is how you play the game. You're actually inside the journal. I don't need to use my mouse at all. Whenever there's something I can interact with, that little guy pops up. As you can tell, we are uh, in 1997. I really love how everything moves. Oh, and going from one room to the other is super smooth. They could have actually slowed down the page flip a little bit for me, but it's still a really cool idea. Hey, look, that's our mom. I feel like there's something up with my mother lately. She always means well, but something's off. It's just a feeling. Hi, sweetie. Hey, mom. Did you need me for something? Since the game's about journals, I think we're going to make that our first decision. Did you do something to my journal? Do something? You mean you can't find it? No, the pages are all blank. I haven't touched it, sweetie. You know I wouldn't snoop. Well, I really want this time my character to be a really good person, or at least as good as you can be in this game. So I'm not going to keep prying. I'll believe, Mum. Never mind. Okay, Mum. I guess I'll just have to ask someone else. That's a good idea. But why would the pages be blank all of a sudden? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll fix it up. You can always write new ones. That doesn't sound very good. You want your old journal. You don't want to have to start over a new journal. I don't want to just write new ones. I want the ones I already wrote back, too. It's not the end of the world, sweetie. I just don't understand it. Try not to worry too much about it, hun. Apparently I can't read <laughs> today, but that's okay as long as we get the gist of the story across, right? I'll try, but I'm always here to help. Awesome. Now let's ask her about Elena. Have you seen Elena recently? I thought you were supposed to be seeing her today. Is something the matter between you two? I totally forgot. No, nothing's wrong. That's good. Elena's a nice girl. She needs a good friend like you to bring her out of her shell a bit. Why do you say that? She just seems a bit quiet. Does she have many friends at school? So, we're friends with a really, really shy girl named Elena. Alright. And as I mentioned, I really want to be a good person, so we're going to go with kind, not insensitive. Not really. I don't know why. We get along well enough. She's just shy. I'm sure you can help her make friends with the other boys and girls. Yeah, I'll try. That's my girl. You're a good friend, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. Sometimes I worry about Eleanor being too shy. It makes things difficult, especially at school. But she's still my friend. I'm trying to do the voiceovers for all the all the talking that should be in this game, but I'm not very good at making other people's voices. Oh, it's like pouring rain. What am I doing out here? This is ridiculous. Oh, a hopscotch. All right, can we do the hopscotch? Oh, we are terrible at hopscotch. All right. I'm gonna guess this is Elena, so let's talk to her. I've known Elena since we moved to the area. She was my first friend around here, and I think I was probably hers too. We had each other and that's never changed. 
But Aww. even once I started to make other friends, she didn't. That's really sad. They were, like, always good friends, but now she's not making other friends. Hey, there you are. Did something happen? I'm sorry. I got caught up in other things. Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't have any other plans. Ooh, I feel really bad for being late. Or at least my character should. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It's alright. I didn't... It's alright. I don't have anything else to do. Uh, and as I mentioned, being super nice this go around. So apologetic. It won't happen again. How late am I? I can't remember what time we were supposed to meet. It really doesn't matter. Oh, I'm really late. Only an hour or so. It's really not a problem. This girl's so sweet. An hour? I'm sorry, Elena. I won't forget next time. I promise. What have you been up to? Nothing, really. Nothing at all? You know, just homework. I have loads to do. Everyone has loads to do. You just put more effort in than we do. It's better than getting into trouble. Besides, I don't mind it. Most of it is interesting. All right, so she obviously enjoys schoolwork. <laughs> Maybe that's why she's such a sweet, shy little girl. Even history? You know I like history. Yeah, I know. Still think you're crazy. Mm. Maybe we'll ask Eleanor about our journal. See if she knows what's up. We've been friends for a long time. You know, something weird has happened to my journal. I didn't know you had a journal. Like a diary? Yeah, I write it every day. But something's happened to it. I've lost everything. Hold up. We've been best friends or friends for a really long time. But she doesn't know I have a journal. I don't know how good of friends we really are. You mean you misplaced it? No, I have the book, but the pages are blank. That's really weird. What do you, who do you think did it? I don't know. My mom knows where my journal is, but I don't know why she'd mess with it. I always tell her not to touch it. If she did, I guess there must have been reason for it. What kind of reason could she have? My journal's private. It wouldn't even mean anything to anyone else. So does she like write in her journal in code? How would it not mean anything to anybody else? Don't ask me. But who else have you done some who else could have done something to it, if not you? You think I'd remember doing something to my own journal? Ugh. But you know what? We're being nice. We're gonna be optimistic about this situation. I thought if we put our heads together, we might come up with something. Who else knew you had a journal? Only a couple of people. My mother, John. Who's John? John, the park keeper? There's a, they have a park keeper? Yeah, I told him about it before, but I don't think it's him. He hasn't visited it, us in a while. That doesn't leave us many options. Nope. Thanks anyways, Eleanor. I'll think about it. Eleanor and I tried to work out what might have happened to my journal. She's good at setting things out logically, even if we didn't get anywhere. I think Elena is good at setting things out logically because she enjoys history and all that kind of good stuff. Let's talk about Elena. It's our last choice, I think. So why did you want to meet up? I just wanted to get out of the house. I didn't want to be around to get shouted at some more. Ah, what's wrong with Elena? She might have a rough home life or something. Why would you be shouted at? What happened? You know, one of the windows at school got broken, right? Yeah, I saw it. They put a board over it now. And is that what that board is? That's not really much of a window, though. That looks more like a door. Yeah. Hmm. Well, someone's been spreading rumors about it. About me. What? Sweet little girl who loves history and people are spreading rumors? What kind of rumors? They're saying I broke the window. Really? And people believe you? 
I really don't think she did it, so there's absolutely no reason to be suspicious. Do you know what actually happened to it? No. How would I? I didn't do it. I didn't even know it was broken. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing you'd do. I would never. I'm glad you believe me. I don't know why my parents don't. How did your parents find out? I think the park keeper told them. John! The park keeper! Well, we have to investigate him about my journal anyways. Why would he do that? I guess he heard the rumors too. Have you told him you didn't do it? I probably should, but what if he shouts at me too? He wouldn't do that. John's a nice guy. If you say so, he's probably mad at me. I can talk to him for you, if you want. Would you? Yeah, of course. Thanks. I've been so upset about this whole thing. Eleanor's upset Oops. because of a rumor that she broke a window at school. She says she didn't do it, but John already told her parents that it was her. Wow. Maybe if you fixed your wall and didn't have bricks? See you later, Elena. I didn't have bricks on the ground like right here? Kids wouldn't be able to break it. Hmm. We can't go that way. So I think now we need to head off and find John. <laughs> I don't know if you guys notice, but the sun or moon or whatever it's supposed to be kind of looks like it's watercolor, watercolor that water got spilt on. I think we're going to head out and find John, but that's going to be the end of it for today. Make sure you check out my next episode of Journal so we can talk to John, maybe figure out my journal, or at least find out who's been spreading lies about Elena. Thanks for joining me. I'm Miss Biz.